Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mode. I'm making a video, and there's a rhino here, as you can see, with the tech marine manning the heavy bolter. The reason this is here on my painting table today is because I read in a white dwarf was February 2011. They had a great, great modeling article in the back, an army workshop, which sometimes they do. They've, they've done a couple, but I really wish they would do more because I think as a business, it's the best way to get new people into, into the hobby because um, without showing it, because I don't want to get sued for copyright, whatevers, they basically give some of their workers a battle force and a space marine commander and or, 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 or like the general of whatever army they're doing and they say okay this is how you can build a force and paint it right out of the box it reminds me a lot of my from box to battle videos where I take something out of the box I show it to you I assemble it and then I and then I build it and paint it and except that this is the the heavy metal team and they do a fantastic job so in February they did a Blood Angels one with because that was when the new Blood Angels bat battalion no battle force was released with the Space Marine squad Rhino death company and an assault squad I think in it and they gave these two painters and hobbyists that work at GW they gave them a battle force and they gave them a Space Marine commander and they said build it up and paint it up and and the, the work they did was just phenomenal. So I have a Space Marine Battle Force, the regular vanilla Space Marine Battle Force, so it doesn't have the Death Company. So what I did was I bought a box of Death Company, the five Death Company, and I also bought a Space Marine Commander, and I'm gonna see if I can replicate their work. So the first thing I did was build this Rhino. It was the first Rhino I ever built, and I planned on having the doors open, and and painting the interior and everything, but I, I couldn't get it quite to fit together right. So if, if you can see, it's popping up in the back here. And um, there's, yeah, it's this, there's this huge seam. And when I was trying to put it together, the door kept falling open. There was nothing to secure it to the top. And I just, I couldn't build it correct. So I was just like, ah, and I just took my glue and I was like, boop, 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 and I glued all of it. But um, it still came out kind of wonky. So what I did was I painted it, I primered it black with some spray primer and then I, primer, I sprayed it with Dragon Red, one of the primer colors from Army Painter. So I think that is going to be a big help for this army because it very closely looks like a mix of Mechrite Red and Blood Red, which is what the painters said they used as a base primer, but they used the Citadel spray gun, which I hear is pretty rubbish. Isn't that good? So. So I'm going to be doing the small progress blog, vlog, I mean, about my Blood Angel Space Marines. I'm going to try and do it up just like the two painters did in White Dwarf and see how closely it goes. And if you guys have any tips or tricks, because I've never done anything with Space Marines before, then please, please send them my way. And I'd love to hear them. And what I'm planning on doing is making all of my Blood Angels look weathered and battered and just war-torn and give them lots of a lot of battle damage and weathering and I, I want them to look like they've been on campaign for years and years and haven't been back for refit to ball their home world in you know years so that's that's what my plan is so I'm gonna make everything look dull and weathered and chipped and just battle damaged so okay follow along with this vlog what should I call it? We'll call it, um, we'll call it War Boss Tay's Blood Angel Fiesta 3000. Yeah, that's what the series of videos is going to be called. I'll be doing it in between my other In With The Olds and War Boss tutorials as I can find time, but just wanted to do something different and it was great inspiration. They got me, they got me with their marketing campaign. So, so curse you GW. Curse you! Hey, what up, players? Warboss Tay again, right up in this mood. I was planning on just posting up the first video as it was up on YouTube, but 
you know, I got to work on this rhino and I just, I couldn't stop until I was done with it. So I finished it and this is my first Space Marine vehicle ever. I weathered it, battle damaged it, and let's just take you through it so that we can all be on the same page about what my idea is for this army. I'm gonna do mostly the kind of weathering and battle damage and just wear and tear that that I've got on this rhino throughout the whole army. I used a, an online English to Latin dictionary translator for assault is increcio and well there, there are a bunch of words for assault but I wanted this to be the the assault squads ride rhino so I looked up the word for assault and put it there and assault squad is usually the seventh or eighth squads so I put a seven from the transfer sheet I'm I could see the edges in the light so I'm probably gonna paint around it with mechrite red or blood red like I did with this blood drop symbol which indicates that they are from third company the iron helms did a blood symbol on the back chipped it up to match most of the rest of it of, of this rhino I can see right now that I'm probably gonna need to add some more scratches and and stuff on the edges I got really overzealous with the front <laughs> and the sides and then and then at the top with the blood drop after I made the doors I was kind of like yeah so tired of all this chipping but yeah the paint job is way too clean on the sides of the doors for it to be a campaigning army that I have the look that I wanted to have here's the back door just the sides I'm gonna need to blacken up these uh, pipes again I see and around them but I just I did it before and it, it looks so bad so you know if you don't have the weathering powders or some way to weather it just using straight paint just makes the the paint job look really I don't know not not as clean the the weathering powder looks so realistic and real and it just doesn't look real when you use regular um, chaos black just watered down so okay it was my rhino it's my first ever rhino that I've ever built and it's blood angels themed of course so but I didn't want it to be the pretty boy blood angels that they're kind of portrayed as I wanted them to be battle hardened and and beaten and weathered and grizzled so I think it, it I think it looks pretty I think it looks pretty good so let me know what you think please leave some comments rate me with a thumbs up favorite this video if you're a blood angels super fan and next video is probably going to be a unboxing and painting up of the squad or the captain space marine captain or if i can't decide how to equip him then maybe one of the squads like attack attack squad or a scout squad or something okay hope you like the video and we'll see you in the next one